Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Alright, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We are here to start most people's least favorite case of the game, but not <laughs> mine. It's Turnabout Serenade. Honestly, I'll go over, like, the criticisms of mm -hmm. the case as we go along and what okay. I like about it. But let's just get started. Three, two, All one, right. go. Alright. Let's rock! Oh boy, it's gonna be our prosecutor, isn't it? <gasps> What's with the guy's hair? Oh my gosh. We love you! Rock on, everyone! This party's not over yet! Get out your handkerchiefs for our special guest! That's right, baby! The night's just getting started! <laughs> Thank you for coming to the Gavineers Guilty as Charged Tour! <laughs> this ends the first part of tonight's show! That's great! There will now be a 20 minute intermission! I thought they were gonna say recess, I'm like, haha, <laughs> that's funny! So we yeah, come? we're at Prosecutor Gavin's rock concert. Did he like <laughs> slip us some tickets after the last one? Just like, yo, publicity, <laughs> milady, you gotta come. <laughs> it's gonna be great. July right. seventh, eight oh five p.m. Backstage hallway. This is so cool. Us at a Gavineers concert. Huh? Did you say something? My ears are still ringing. The Gavineers putting the sick back in music. Well, I thought Mr. Gavin was really nice. Sending us those tickets at 20% off! They're hard to get a hold of, you know. When you invite people to a concert, it's usually free. Let's head over to his dressing room, Apollo. You know, like we're a couple of VIPs. I've always dreamed of being a VIP at a Gavineer show. Um, Trucy, you didn't know who Prosecutor Gavin was before that case. What kind of fan doesn't know the lead vocalist's name? Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Clavier... Clavier? Clavier? Cla I think Clavier. it's Clavier. Clavier, what a lovely name! He's so dreamy. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm supposed to swoon over the gods of rock. God awful, maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never seen that! <laughs> yeah, that's her, I think her final sprite that we're seeing. <laughs> I bought all their stuff on the way home from the trial. I got 12 Gavin Years albums and 15 concert videos. That was quite a bit of impulse shopping. I got an advance on my next 15 years worth of allowance. For Mr. Wright, that sounds like a real act of generosity. Who would have imagined me here at a Gavin Nears concert watching Prosecutor Gavin rock? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, he was kind of cool and I'm a bit kind of envious. Not that I'd ever admit that to Trucy. July 7th, Gavineer's dressing room. Ah, you made it. Mr. Gavin, thanks so much for the tickets. And the invoice you sent along with them. You were incredible up on stage, Mr. Gavin. Nothing like music to brighten the mood after a trial, ya. Yeah. And we're almost ready for our next act. I'm looking forward to it myself. Lamiors, Lamior? <laughs> I, okay, to this day, I still have no Lamy idea how to pronounce Lamy that. Lamior? Okay, so it's even. I thought it was Lamer Royer the first time. It's not. Yeah. It's either uh, Lamiroye or Lamiwa. I'm gonna say Lamiwa. Okay. Lamiwa's singing, right? The siren of the ballad? Ballad? <laughs> the ballad? <laughs> the ballad? <laughs> it's been like two minutes. Uh, oh, yeah. That flyer said she flew all the way over for this show. Oh. That's right. I happened to catch her a show while overseas. Her voice is divine. I knew I had to invite her to perform with us. Lamiwa says, you praise me too highly. Whoa! Who's this guy? He's huge! He looks like Josh Groban with the bigger beard! I oh my guess. gosh! Ah, allow me to introduce Mr. Romain Latouse, also known as Romain Lettuce. <laughs> Lamiwa's manager, and her interpreter, actually, incidentally. Oh! It is a great honor for us to be here, and a great honor for Lamiwa to be heard in this country. <laughs> eh, I, I'm not gonna even speak that until I see her. 
laugh. <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> that voice. I wish I could understand it. It's beautiful. I don't... Come on! Show me what she looks like! Whoa! She looks like Tetra, but cooler. What? No! She looks nothing like Tetra! Oh my gosh. Name one similarity between her and Tetra besides the fact that they're both girls. <laughs> they're girls? And doesn't Tetra have a a band, like... I can't no. The mask over her face? No. <laughs> no? Okay, she Not reminded me of... That was my meteor. Otherwise, like, Sheik, maybe? Sheik more so, but Sheik? even then, not really. Uh, also, Sheik is a dude. <laughs> or, she looks very pretty. Or like Jasmine when she's trying to like go into <laughs> the normal- Jasmine! <laughs> when she's trying to go into like the normal towns where they're gonna be like, you, you gotta pay for that apple! <laughs> uh, this is this is harder than I thought. I told you! There's okay. a make-believe language that I know. you have to speak. I and, know, and oh, okay. I'm playing for that, apparently. Ugh. I gotta think- Sorry. You had like days. No, I, this I, is why I, I told about you. It. I thought about in advance. it. No, but I thought there was gonna be at least some sort of like a letter, like letter no. somewhere in there. I told you it was like the opening to Faust in Your Door, where the, yeah. all the weird symbols. I, okay. <laughs> you knew this was coming. Come on. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Are you speaking up. French? No. Nope. <laughs> Sure ain't. If I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Just French. speak random letters of different, random words of et different tu, languages. Et et <laughs> <laughs> play, uh, si just, she just defends every language. They're like, oh my gosh, your language is beautiful. And then Spanish like, is so beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, it's Lemur. Uh, Lemua. Yeah. It's Lemua. I'm actually meeting Lemua. Lemua. Mysterious songstress. Her quiet, deep song glides through the air. Little, <laughs> little teen above a sparse but elegant piano accompaniment. Now this is music. She's a real artist. In some session, yeah, no. I don't know. I'm gonna start <laughs> singing everything she says. Lamoua says, we have long looked forward to this joint performance. Ah, Lamoua, your voice. It is art. In some she's <laughs> if she speaks a lot, oh, you're if gonna, she speaks a lot, then you're like, gonna have Yet without his piano to guide me, it is but a voice. Whoa. Guy it's or It's Jan Elton John. It's oh, a, that's a guy. That's a guy. Oh. I've seen this kid somewhere before. He plays piano at the Lemoa concerts. He's cute, and he's a really good pianist. Good pianists are a dying breed, I hear. Mm-hmm. Allow me to introduce Machi Tobaye. He is blind. This is why he never strays far from Lemoa. They are always together. They're like characters from some fairy tale. Yeah. Lame was so, um, what's that word? Exotic! And mysterious. She does seem quite pretty. At least her eyes do. Hers is a kind of sightseeing music. Huh? She travels the globe putting the sights she sees into song. Even though her appearance and voice are exotic. Her songs remind us of something close and warm. Sights into song? That's so poetic! She was gracious enough to put music to my lyrics tonight. The guitar's serenade. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait. And now it is time. For the next part, we're giving the Gaviniers hard rock a little rest. Lamiwa, the stage is yours. So... Oh, wait, I, I was gonna start saying something, then I, like, panicked. I'm like, uh <laughs> Dear God, that would be oh, offensive. That would, have been, that would have been weird. You're gonna call Gain, uh, Street Gain's racist, like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Whatever the heck I say, if it translates weirdly into some language... I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, but if somebody's like, how dare you, like, <laughs> speak Islamic? I'm like, I don't know. Is, like, Islamic would, is not if, a I know, language. I know, but like speaking something like that. You mean like, Arabic? Arabic. Yup. <laughs> that that thing. Ugh. That's uh. like, bro, do you speak Christian? <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. You mean English? Do you speak Christian? Wait, that's a feign? No, I that's just like a weird meme. Oh. Yeah, well. Uh, 
Samishwa. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> the band members will not play during Lemuwa's ballad. Only Machi's tender tones and Lemuwa's dulcet voice. And my guitar, of course. This is gonna be a challenge. Woohoo! Nights like this make it all worthwhile, you know? I should have learned to play the guitar. There's not much romance in Chords of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically just that whole scene of Toph uh, being played <laughs> in, the, in, the, yeah, in the Emperor Island yeah. players. Shall we hit the stage then? Good luck, Mr. Gavin. Take care, take care your hearts aren't stolen away, ya. Yeah. Let's get back to the concert hall, Polly. But I want to examine the dressing. You don't have to uh, sing along with this, it's fine. Sugar, sugar. Aw, oh, honey, honey. Du, 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 this, is, du, this, du, is, this shows that this could not be on anything but the DS. You sure I don't have to sing this? It's fine, just take it in. Okay. Trust me, we'll be seeing this a lot. <laughs> okay. Whoa. They've got like power line type. Uh, the. Um, the platforms rising, like, power line for the... Sure. Stuff. Is this supposed to happen? No, it's not supposed to slow okay, down. Okay, I was like, is it gonna, like, slow down and then be like, MURDER! This turns into Doki Doki Literature by the way. No. No. He was like, oh, and then fell backwards. Because that's what happened. Good animation. Ugh, she does remind me of, like, a Paper Mario character. <laughs> He's still trying to put it out. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> July 7th, 9.05 p.m. backstage hallway. Wow, wasn't Lemoir... I will never say this word right. Wasn't... Lamewa. Wasn't Lamewa amazing? I even cried a little. I was surprised Prosecutor Gavin actually burned his guitar. Yeah, that even surprised me, and I'm a magician. What a production. What a destruction. I don't think Prosecutor Gavin was expecting it either, oddly. <laughs> he looked as surprised as I was. <laughs> Is that what they call risking life and limb for art? I think it's my he's my new hero. I'm not sure I'd call that art. Well, what are we doing here? Let's get going to Mr. Gavin's dressing room. There's 20 minutes till the last part of the show. How many breaks does this band need? It's July 7th, the Gavineer's dressing room. What the heck was that? I was never consulted about it. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Gavin, sir. I've asked the man in charge. I play new rock, not great balls of fire. Speaking of fire, I have a good mind to fire whoever's responsible. <laughs> Seems upset. Apollo Justice, were you the one who tried to torch me? Hey, I didn't do it. So much for risking your life for art. The guitar serenade is ruined. Ruined. Well, let's try to talk to him at least. I'm not sure that's the best move right now. Wow, <laughs> he is freaking mad. <laughs> so he looks like he's gonna kill someone for that guitar. You mean the guitar... That wasn't part of the act? Part of the act? Who burned up a guitar on purpose? <laughs> but it worked really well with the lyrics just then. Burning it on my heart, fire, burn my love away, all away? Wait, you think the audience thought it was... Sounds like he got lucky. They probably thought it was part of the act. At least I did. <laughs> he got lucky and he didn't realize it. Anyway, that guitar was the Ferrari of guitars! All the speed, all the sound, and all the price. If I burned one of those at every show, I'd go broke! Unusually frugal for a rock band. Try saying that to Mr. Gavin! Achtun! Today's been one disaster after another. My hog won't run, my guitar case is broken. 
Wait, this was later on in the day? No. <laughs> His hog broke down twice. Oh, twice. I'm like, <laughs> he needs to get a better bike. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Daddy told me there'd be days like these. La Mewa. Wasn't La Mewa's song incredible? You worked on it too, right, Mr. Gavin? Ah, uh, yes, thanks. It was a collaboration. I wrote the lyrics and she wrote the melody. You know, I was surprised she could sing in English. I'm sure she practiced a long time for this day. I am famous after all. Ah, here. <laughs> What's this? A lyric sheet. It's yours. Signed by myself and Lemewa. Yippee! Thank you so much. All I ever get to sign are client defense agreements. <laughs> <laughs> lyric sheet added to the court record. Almost time for the third act of the night. Good thing I brought my backup guitar. <laughs> oh, there's more? Yes, Lamewa's part is done. Now it's time for us to drop our groove again, ya. Yeah. Hope you're ready to catch it. Woohoo! Ready, Apollo? Uh, I think I'll pass. Uh! I like the bit with Lamewa, but the rest could use a volume knob turned way down. Hear that, goofus? Don't turn the volume, volume way, way up. up. <laughs> Ah, uh, Apollo, you're getting old. Ack! Does 22 qualify as old to a 15-year-old? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going. Let the old folks rest backstage, ya. Yeah. Time to rock. Hey, you're older than I am! <laughs> this is not gonna end well. <laughs> okay, predictions. What's gonna happen? Um, his guitar is gonna... Uh, no, he can't die off. That'd be weird. That would be an interesting that twist. That would be a really interesting twist, and there's just a different prosecutor altogether. Maybe Letus is killed? Maybe... <laughs> Maybe Emmett, one of the people who can't speak English. One of the people who can't speak or can't speak English will be care, uh, killed off. Okay. Either the pianist or the uh, lyric... Oh, unless if it's like, someone stole the guitar that got caught on fire, and now we gotta get it back. <laughs> it's not a murder case, it's just a, give my guitar back. <laughs> give my guitar back, man. You know, that's better than Sora, collect 300 crabs for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know, maybe like, uh, p power outage and kidnapping? That could happen. <laughs> In that order. In that order. A postcard of Lamawa. I can't read a single word of the sentence at the bottom. I'll read hmm. it. Trucy might want one of these. I'll show it to her next time we're here. Oh, he didn't pick it up? I was gonna I was gonna try and interpret it. There's graffiti on the mirror in lipstick. Wait, but the Gavin ears are all guys! Maybe Prosecutor Gavin wears lipstick? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a rocker thing. They have to wear makeup. Not lipstick though. Lipstick? Yeah. Okay, well if you're they don't okay, have to. if you're on stage, you don't have to have to, but You want everyone to see how red your lips are. No, you want a, your face to pop on stage. That's why when you wear, like, Not stage your lips. makeup... <laughs> kind of. When you wear makeup on stage, you wear, like, a shade or two darker than your actual skin, so that way you won't be washed out by the lights. It works really well for pictures, too. Hmm. And a lot of times... I, I mean, guys don't have to wear lipstick, but they might wear, like, a nude lipstick. So, like... Run that by me again? A nude lipstick. So it's, like, your skin color, but it's a little darker. I feel like there's a better word for that. That's what it's nude. called! <laughs> a nude, nude lipstick. Or like your... I, I'm not saying you're saying it's wrong. I'm saying that whoever <laughs> named it nude lipstick needs to work yeah, on it. Yeah, well, there's weird lipstick colors. That guitar looks like it was made out of a cop car door. That's right. Trucy's not here to set me straight. Now I feel kind of lonely. Grab the tissues. Oh, hey! It's Ray. <laughs> <sighs> a delicious bowl of stew. Made of plastic. Huh? The bottom of the bowl has a G on it. They sell these at concerts? Whatever happened to t-shirts? <laughs> Sad badger. That's an odd guitar. The design is that character I saw in the hallway, but with sunglasses. What a strange mascot. It looks like he's crying. Since what was Rock about crying? They should name this guy Emo. <laughs> a police uniform. Next to it is a policeman's hat and a pair of handcuffs. One of the band members must like the police. Must be Mr. Gavin's bad influence. I thought rock and roll was all about being rebellious. <laughs> Not Not them. necessarily. That police officer looks ready to rock. Some kids must see this and actually want to be cops. Somehow I don't think a rocking defense attorney would work too well. Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna right the wrongs and here comes justice. Sure. July 7th, backstage hallway. Hey, it's you, that right kid. Detective Sky, I'll let that right kid business pass. Call me Emma. There's no need for titles once you've shared a bottle of finger printing power. Or powder. That's a new one. So, um, Emma, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm snacking. You think I want to be here? Me in charge of security in this pit? Security? Did something happen? There's no knowing what that glimmerous fop. Apparently, he's all upset because something was stolen. He wanted security back here during the concert. Where does he get off acting like he's some big rock star? He is a big rock star. Hey, you listening to me? So, where's this door here lead to? This one? That's Lamewa's dressing room. Don't even think of going in there unless you want a piece of snackos in your face. Snackoos. Snackoos in your face. Is she ever in a good mood, I wonder? At least you have someone to hang out with. Um, Emma? I've never seen someone eat snacks with such vehemence. Better give her a wide berth. She snackooed me. Um, Emma? Much, much, <laughs> much, much. She snackooed me. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> I think Emma's my new favorite character. Emma's amazing in this. <laughs> I thought she would never come back. I was like, wow, it's the science girl. She's great. She's great, though, in this. How can people not be just in love with her eating animation? <laughs> yeah. Better give her a wide berth. She snackooed me. Emma, could you take a look at this? Um, what do you think? That must be a bottomless bag of snacks. Like bottomless fries from Red from Robin? From Red Robin, yeah, exactly. The best. What's the thing in front of the door? I wonder. Like that. That's a pretty sturdy looking box there. Maybe it's an in instrument case. There's a guitar next to it. Don't even think about taking that. I don't think I could even carry it. She snackooed me. <laughs> wow. No coups here. Katong. <laughs> a Gavineer's guilty as charged tour poster. They're plastered all over the place. It's annoying. Well, this is the concert venue. It makes sense. Why? Everyone's ar here is already here. Why advertise it to them? People like to see the poster at the concert. It's part of the experience. Do you have to find fault with everything I say? She snackooed me. <laughs> Come to think of it, I am a little thirsty. I'll have some tea. I think I'll get a water. I'll have tea. If you want tea so bad, go buy it yourself. She snackooed me. I'll take a tea. <laughs> I just like the idea of like Emma just like, <laughs> like eating the snacks like everything Apollo does. She's just like chucking them at his head. That's kind of. I mean, I don't. I don't chuck food at people because I like food too much. But that kind of describes me at school in a nutshell. <laughs> I was always the one snacking in class. Like, okay. always. Because they would let me. Mm -hmm. What's that odd-looking doll doing there? Oh. That's the blue badger. That's a blue <laughs> badger. Yeah. Could you try either talking or munching, but not both? She's hit me with a snack. Serves me right for going out of my way. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak snackoos. We're getting nothing. So, this is Lamarois' dressing room. If you even think about going in there, I'll... What was that? Was that a gunshot? Something's going on. You, out of my way. A Emma! Lamarois! Lamarois! It's not locked. I'm going in. I mean, if she's dead, that's probably... I mean, not that that's fine, but, like, then I don't have to keep talk. <laughs> July 7th, 9.30 p.m., Lyman Wild's dressing room. What's that awful noise? Oh, it's the concert. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Ah! That's... It's Lyman Wild's manager, Mr. What's-His-Name. Oh, it's the only guy who speaks English! <laughs> <laughs> Latouse! Oh, no. Hey, you! But me Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. R right Understood. You want me to make sure no one comes in, right? And don't touch anything. I'll be right back. 
She's pretty calm for someone who just saw murder. What's going on? I just talked to him and now... <sighs> okay, you're a... He... He's alive! Mr. Matus, can you hear me? Sh shot. I was shot. Who? Who shot you? I don't know. Ask... Ask... Ask what? Ask... Wit witness... Witness. Th there was a witness? Who? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold. Th don't worry. You're going to be fine. Help us on the way. Can't see. Hang in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who is the witness? The wi witness is Siren. Siren? How can a siren witness anything? Mr. Latus! Yipes! Emma? What was that? What? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, d did you see anyone just now? Huh? No. I could have sworn I heard a door close. The concert's been canceled. Backup's on its way. Is Mr. Latouse? He's dead, isn't he? That's terrible. I lost him. Romain Latouse shot. Come on, you were the only one who spoke English! <laughs> and I heard his last words. The witness is the siren. Whatever that means. July 7th, backstage hallway. The venue's locked down. We took names and addresses before letting the crowd go. Good work, Darian. <laughs> Darian? What a- <laughs> that's a name! <laughs> <laughs> that is a name. Oh, Darian. Oh, Jet, you're so, so bad. bad. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find out anything about the victim. Later. What is with his hoodie thing? <laughs> it looks like shark teeth. What's it wrong like with it? It looks like shark teeth, yeah. What's wrong with it? <laughs> it's investigation time then, ya, yeah, Fräulein Detective. I don't need some rock and rolling prosecutor to tell me that. One request I must make. Tell no one, on staff, or otherwise, anything of this. Ooh, a gag order! No word gets out other than that Mr. Latouse is dead. No word of the cause of death or of the murder. Tell no one. Not even Lamewa? Not even her. We must keep everything under wraps. Oh, one other thing. I'll need your signature on this air forehead. Yours too, Fräulein. On that? Hmm, an investigation request? Why just us? You two are civilians. It's standard procedure. That should be okay to sign, I think. Signed, Prosecutor Gavin's investigation request. Um, I now own your firstborn son. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, how about you read your contract? Right. Nobody ever reads the terms and conditions of, like, when they install new software. Right? Okay, no, but you should do that if it's a written thing, like, here you go, just sign it, like, right in front of you. Yeah. Right, well, let's get started with the investigation. I'm on it already. Ah, uh, and one tip for you. Huh? Me? Try not to get in the Freudine detective's way. She's in a foul mood today. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> we were all questioned as witnesses. And now none of us can go home. We'll investigate all right. Our way. Somehow I didn't see us getting back to that crime scene anytime soon. I still can't believe I was there when it happened. Not an experience I care to repeat anytime soon. This is no time for navel-gazing. Let's crack this case. I worry about Trucy. She seems to have a very loose idea of what it means to be an attorney. Of course, that's not surprising considering who her father is. Something the matter? No. Let's get cracking! I'm the only one who was there. The only one who heard Mr. Latusa's last words. You know, oh yeah, we also see suspicion. this flashback a whole lot. Eh, everybody just heard us. Yeah. First order of business is to find out what he meant by Siren. Okay. And now we have Trucy on our side, so... Stuff is different now. A concert poster for the Guiltiest Charged Tour. I love that name! Guiltiest Charged? Seems kind of negative to me. Well, why don't we do the opposite? Magician Trucy presents the Innocent as Charged Tour. It kind of loses its impact, doesn't it? Exactly. Looks like an instrument case. A big instrument case. There's a great magic trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous beautiful girl escapes the case, Illusion. 
So it's the girl who's miraculous, not the escape. So picky. She, she became British there for a little bit. So picky. So picky. Oh, I'm <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's making fun of the band. Rabbit tobacco. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Beatrix Potter. Rabbit tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Mrs. McGregor say? says, says that, I think, in the Flopsy Buddies. Oh! Yeah, I okay. shall sell them and, and buy, buy myself, myself tobacco. <laughs> Rabbit tobacco! <laughs> and she chucks it out the window. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm thirsty, Apollo. Want something to drink? Hmm, how about this one? A Steel Samurai Soda! Now in real steel flavor. Hmm. Huh? Here, my tree. Hey, this isn't enough change. The machines outside are cheaper. This one is highway robbery. That's the blue badger, the po police mascot. Does the blue badger have something to do with the band? Well, yeah. The blue badger is the Gavineer's mascot too. Huh, go figure. I hear those things fly off the shelves. I'll have to take a closer look at one someday. Really expanded since Gumshoe made it. What's that? It looks like some sort of future phone? Not a phone, a transceiver. It's called a headset. What's a headset doing on the floor? Wait, do you think Mr. Latus might have been wearing it? Like one of those bodyguards? Hmm, I don't think he was wearing one when we first met. The LED on this fiend is lit. It must be on. Pick it up. Nope. Lamoua's dressing room. The scene of the crime. We're not supposed to go in there. But aren't we involved? Aren't we duty-bound to investigate? Sadly, no. Though the situation being what it is, now may be our best chance to do some snooping. <laughs>